Excuse me, Beanie. I just thought of something. If you adjust this coordinate from 2.7 to 2.9... I already thought of that. Well, it could increase the maneuvering capability. I know that, and it's what I'm doing right now. Oh, so sorry to interrupt the genius at work. Apology accepted. Thank heavens. I mean, I would hate to have the real brains of the ship mad at me. Priscilla. But as long as the apology's been accepted... Priscilla, will you please shut up? Priscilla, Beanie's under a lot of pressure right now. Priscilla? First you say shut up, then you say talk. Make up your minds. He's worried about them down there. Well, he's not the only one. You can do it, Beanie. Never come back and tell us. Those clowns thinking you're magic, don't you, Vance? Go get him!
Nice bracelet. Electromagnetic force field in there. Can I taught you how to make those things, Vance? Guess I never got around to teaching you how to neutralize them. There goes your magic. Finish it! wanted to be popular. Aliens on bridge. Aliens on bridge. Aliens clear, Priscilla. Who are these guys? <clears throat> this is Willie and Whistlestick. They're OK. Yeah, they decided to leave their party and join ours. Beanie, what's this orbit you've got going here? Took the shuttle half an hour to catch up with you. You were supposed to maintain standard distance. Jonathan. We had kind of a rough time down there. We didn't need to go trade. Jonathan, Jonathan wait a minute. We picked up that blip on our screen. It was coming straight for us. I didn't want to leave you, so I thought if we swung out, that maybe they'd have a hard time finding us. Beanie. You did exactly the right thing. We did it. We need to get them cleaned up. This way, gentlemen. Well, there's never a dull moment around here. I'll say that much. Is that blip still on the monitor? Affirmative. And still closing. Let's get out of here. Or minus. Plus two. Commander Gardner, I'm afraid we have to take a trip for the fair.
What happened to you, Vance? I... I was defeated. You know the rules here. Yes, I know the rules. But I certainly wasn't expecting you to... join the game. What was Voyager doing here? <sighs> I lured her here. Why? I thought you'd be pleased. What happened? Jake Brown was aboard. Jake Brown? He challenged me. I had to fight him. Oh. I don't think you had to fight him. I think you wanted to fight him. Deadly sin, Lieutenant. Pride. I did it for you. You took over and destroyed Vanguard Explorer for me. You lured Earth Star Voyager off course for me. We can still catch her. I can still catch her. You're not gonna leave me here. You seem to be enjoying yourself. Admiral, take me with you. I can help you. I don't need you, Vance. Continue the games. I was looking for some place to be by myself. No offense. No offense. I do want to say thank you. For what? For not killing my brother when you had the chance. Somebody, it's kind of hard to quit just because you oughta. That's from a book I'm writing. Things I finally learned after getting here. I'd like to read that when you finish it. Wait a second. See what else I have in here that 
it might. No, that's pure mythology. Why don't you tell me about it? It wouldn't help. Not unless you're trying to wake up a one-eyed centaur, which is one of the few things we don't have on board. Boy, some of this stuff is strange. Now here's something. It's a little bizarre, but it's about human rituals. What's she talking about? Uh, I might as well tell you Priscilla probably would anyway. I would not. I'm having her scan the history archives. This is gonna sound really silly, but I thought maybe there might be a way to wake people up, a way that we don't know about, a way they used to do it. Lonnie. Yeah. Have you come up with anything? Priscilla's working on it. Slowly. She gets carried away by trivia. I do not. I have found this culture where they put a rock and a feather at the head of a sleeping person and chant a mantra. What's a mantra? Sort of like a prayer, over and over again. What mantra would they chant? It doesn't say. That's it? That's it. A rock, a feather, and a mantra. Thanks a lot, Priscilla. What you looking at, Huxley? You're too young to understand. Why are you puffing? If you were down on Expo, you'd be puffing too. I had my hands full up here. All you had to do was put a Voyager on automatic pilot. And all you had to do was pick some in Yo-Yo's pocket. All right, so we're all here, us, us and the little green men. Uh, Sonia, I think I'm done for today. Make it tough. That's what friends are for. I, uh, I don't know any mantras. No, I don't either. But I, I sort of made one up. Well, that's your day. Mm-hmm. 
Signal being received. Listen. I came here to tell you the truth, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm here to tell it all. What's that? Oliver North. Who's he? An American Marine Lieutenant Colonel. What's he doing out here? He's not out here. Can't be. He's not. He said it in the summer of 1987 in Washington, D.C. I own silver! Away! <laughs> An overturned truck is really jam things up on the 405 So traffic is being diverted to This is Air Watch 19. I This is the big sound of the big town rocking and reeling and hanging from the ceiling. It's radio. What? Old sound waves from Earth. When they used to broadcast radio, the sound didn't stop. It just kept going on and on. Into space. And we caught up with it. Priscilla, are there any more? And uh, Charles Lindbergh has just landed in France. This day, May 20th, 100,000 people have landed after 33 and a half hours alone in the spirit of St. Louis. Hey, Priscilla, I know that one. Put that back on. Sorry, out of range. Hey, what are you doing? It's a 26-year trip. A 10-minute detour wouldn't hurt. Priscilla, follow that song. <laughs> New object within scanning range. This is interesting. I'll put it on the screen. Metallic alloys? Have stations out this far? Augment, Priscilla. It's a vehicle. The ship that's been following us? No, it can't be. Everything's dead. Propulsion system, life support. And there's a lot of damage. 40,000 miles in closing. Priscilla, maximum augmentation.
cheek. I, I know you must be feeling it. I want to go on board. Why? There's nothing worth salvaging. The, the Vanguard's a dead ship. Not completely dead. Power's still functioning at minimum. Fifteen minutes. Why do you want to go back there, Jake? He wants to retrieve the ship's log, Hux. You know you don't have to. We believe you. Thanks. Didn't lose my ship because I was taking a nap. All right, take Beanie. Hey, great. So if he gets left behind once more, he's gonna burst. I'll go, too. Okay. Prepare for transport. It's been a long time, Captain. Here, let me try. See, this is one of those 319XA models, which means that I'll have an override connection right here. How'd you know that? I learned it in history class. In my history class, they taught us kings, queens, and uprisings. Now all I have to do is press these two buttons simultaneously. Oops. Oops. Damaged circuit. I think I just wiped out your... Yep, I sure did. What? Wiped out what? Your missile breakfast program. Well, that we can live without. I haven't wiped out a program since I was six years old. Move a little out of the way, please. Traffic. Minimal. Minimal? There's not supposed to be any traffic out here. What traffic? Ask. There. Scout. What scout? Best I can do for you now is retrieve your log program.
Ship traffic minimal. Jake, what's going on? Nobody should be out here but us. Whatever it is, it's still alive. What a relief. We've got to take it back to the Voyager. We do not. It's part human. Are you sure? Not the part it hit me with. Um. Hurts. Please. The fall. He feels pain. What kind of circuits did they use? She's right. We ought to take it back to the ship and examine it. Before or after it takes apart the Voyager, let's learn what we can from the scene and get rid of it. Come on. What are you doing? You two do whatever you want. I'm taking it back to the ship. I'm gonna be out of my mind. All right. Just remember who said this was a mistake. Invited a friend. It's a shell. That's what the OTZ was making back on Expo. What was it doing on the Explorer? The scouting. For the outlaw technology zone. Think you can get that log to tell us what ship traffic minimal is? Yeah. What are, yeah. You, what are you guys talking about? Jonathan, I need to get him to medical bay. No. Excuse me, ma'am. You don't want to do that. Those things, they're programmed to self-destruct if they're captured. You let him wake up. He's got enough explosives. He's hurt. I can keep him sedated. We'll defuse him. All right, let's do it. Go see if you can get a reading off that log. Yes, sir. Log program, Priscilla. Retrieve all data, please. Off this old thing? I'll have to downgrade myself. Search for any ship traffic in the past six years. Uh, also search for bridge intruder. Correlate that with all information regarding the outlaw technology zone. Working. I can talk while I'm working. What would you like to talk about? Huxley's birthday is tomorrow. Wouldn't you know she'd be the one to remember? Is there anything specific you'd like, Huxley? Or should I just surprise you? Now, this is interesting. Intruder on Vanguard Explorer verified. OTZ scout boarded minus two years, four months. Method of entry? Working. Mr. Beanstalk, report to medical, please. Right away. Hey, you're the super brain on the ship. Could you program her out of our fixation, please? Oh, gee, Huxley, I'm really awful sorry. I mean, but Priscilla's awfully complicated. You can't change her programming without affecting Oliver. I think we better not even try. Cheer up, Bugsley. It could be worse. How? 58 women on board, and the only one who realizes what kind of man she's missing is a computer with no body. Huxley, you lack imagination. Method of entry retrieved. Yes. A vessel rendezvoused with Vanguard Explorer, leaving behind OTZ scout. Vessel? Origin and destination not logged. Identification unknown.
you ever see them when you were down there? We stayed as far away from them as we could, Captain. Do you know anything else about these shells? Only that they were making them. I never found out how they fit into their plan. What plan? Assembly. I never found out what that means, either. Beanie, I need your help. Can you take a look at this, please? I don't believe it. His brain's at least half electronic. 62% to be precise. 38% organic. So they're wiring the circuits to the what's it there? Neurons. Neurons. And all this stuff is for motor control. And this stuff, I don't know. Those are attached to his pain centers. That's all they've left him to feel with. Nice guys. I've located the detonator. Can you defuse him? Yeah. It's got different levels of control. If you neutralize this, and you neutralize this, and you don't touch this, that'll do it. Gantry elevation? 48 centimeters. Try 42 centimeters. Okay, you got it. I'm bringing him out of the anesthetic now. Will he be able to talk? I say we find out what we can, then turn him off. All the way off. We'll disconnect him, Sally. Feeling any pain now? No. You did that? Yes. Who are you? My name is Sally Arthur. I'm a doctor. You stop pain. Can you move? No. What's your name? Shall I respond? Yes. Unit designation SJ381. Why were you on board the Vanguard Explorer? To remove intruders, to gather and relay any pertinent information. To whom? The others. There are more like you. Yes. How many? Most recent output figure 2,780. Where are the others? En route to assembly. And where's that? No information. What will happen at assembly? Capability will be completed. Capability for what? Destruction. There is more pain. Please. That's enough. Let him rest now. Voyager located, sir. She's returned to predetermined course. Well done. Position located via transmission from shell SJ381. SJ381, drone or warrior? Drone, sir. Scout. Continue. Apparently, Earth Star Voyager rendezvoused with Vanguard Explorer and retrieved it. It's on board, Voyager? Yes, sir. 
Deactivate shell immediately. We can't, sir. We're too far out of range. Commander Gardner, plot intercept course with Voyager now. Jonathan, Jonathan. Why did you let that thing on board your ship? Too many things have been disconnected. It is distressful. I think I can help that. giving you back some of your circuits. Just enough so you can orient yourself. I'm sorry I can't give you back any of your movement. Talk to me. All right. Do you have a name? I mean, did you have a name before you became SJ-381? Did you have a family? There was... There was something... End discussion, please. Emotions beyond computer capability. Why? Interference with programming. Did you volunteer for them to do this to you? No. They took me. I'm sorry. still retrieving data from the Vanguard log, sir. So far, she's got these two coming past the Vanguard Explorer. The first one dropped off our mechanical boogeyman. The second one came past six months later on the same trajectory. Destination. Working. Takes her long enough, doesn't it? Just want to try this for an augmentation program. Why didn't I think of that? else. Come back here, you little beast. Priscilla? Sorry, Captain. I was talking to the data. Can you actually see the data? I don't actually. It's just there. Kind of hard to explain. Must be strange for you in there. It's a little spooky sometimes. Catch your data? Well, no, not yet. But I've got them cornered.
not supposed to be me. Oh, oh no, it's not. Um, I was just fooling around. What is it? Well, it's... Well, you see, I, I've always been kind of interested in, in, in alien life forms, so I was trying to figure out what it might be like on Demeter when we get there. Oh. If, if we get there. It's kind of cute. Um... What I did is I pulled up all the information we have, you know, figuring out a similar environment, but with a completely independent evolution. You're not really interested in all this stuff, are you? Well, um, how come you gave it such big ears? Oh. Because cause the atmosphere's just a little thinner than ours. Um, sound wouldn't travel quite as well. So they need big ears, and we <laughs> Got it. Total of six ships pass by Vanguard Explorer at regular intervals. Where were they going? Common point of rendezvous. Where, so? 28 Frontier, Sector 10. That's right on our course. Assembly. Priscilla, can you extrapolate the purpose of rendezvous? Negative. Insufficient information. I guess we'll find out when we get there. collision course with them. Assembly. Any suggestions? Yeah, get out of their way. Those are OTZ ships. I've seen them before back at Expo. I also have a weapons estimate. Go ahead. Overwhelming. Definitely a good time for a detour. A detour around what? First, we got to find out what they're doing. I've got their rendezvous point. Priscilla. That's the first thing that makes sense. They're rendezvousing at Twin Suns. That many ships, they need immense solar power, so they meet out there. See, those two suns are orbiting around each other, Jake. Right now, they're about to reach perigee, the, the closest point in their orbit. The closer they get, the more energy is directed along any given path. When will it be at maximum? In three hours, 17 minutes. Can we maneuver ourselves into the path of highest intensity? I'm sure we could. Why? so we can destroy them. Jonathan, it's dangerous. It's worth the risk. Beanie, how long would it take to reset our solar disk to reflect instead of store? I'd like a couple of days. Uh-uh. Give me 
three hours. Wait a second. What are you planning to do here? I'm going to create a solar laser. You could do that? Yep. We're going to need more than your railgun. It could work. Assuming we don't fry the disks. Or ourselves. It's back. What? The blimp, the one that we saw back at Expo. It's right on our course and really moving. Identification? No response. And they just jammed my signal. Did you get an armament reading? Affirmative. Armed to the teeth. They're moving faster than we are, sir. At this rate, they'll catch us in two hours, 27 minutes. Just when we intersect the OTZ ships. Just one more piece to the puzzle. Let me see what you got on that thing. Well, at least it's smaller than the other. Captain, the railgun could at least disable that one if it gets close enough. How close? Very close. Willie, you remember how to operate a railgun? Sure. Then go to airlock 19 and check the response on the one I built, okay? loose. He's just left airlock 19. He's heading forward. Acknowledged. Jonathan, it was disconnected. I gave him back some of his control, but not movement. Well, guess what? Attention, maximum security alert. Oh, don't shoot it. It might still explode. Amend alert. Location. Do not repeat. Do not fire. It's moving towards the bridge. Seal bridge entryway. Do not fire.
Yes. I helped you. What? I must destroy you? No. It is my programming. Was the ship damaged? Was the ship damaged? There appears to be some damage on the bridge. I can't get a reading of the extent. They have decreased their speed. I assume they're repairing. Match our speed to theirs. Maintain distance. Continue jamming. longer, Beanie? I don't know. Because until you fix Priscilla, we're flying blind. <sighs> Can't you bring up any of the data on the OTZ ships? I'm trying, Jonathan. I'm sorry, Beanie, but the shell said while well, we still have time. We don't know how much time that is. Beanie, can you bring down a D-13 printed circuit? I can't right now. Then send somebody. I'll take it. Les has got it. Job on it. I'm sorry. I, I couldn't kill him. That's an admirable attitude, Doctor. You nearly got us all killed. Maybe I should turn into a hard nose like you. Sorry it took so long, Priscilla. Just think how fast you could have done it if you had my help. Is it fixed? Fixed. Two of the energy cells still aren't responding, sir. Can we still use the solar laser? Not a chance. To compensate, we'd have to be there precisely when the suns are at their closest point. There's only a five-second window even when we get there. And even then... I, I... don't think I want to hear anymore. Go on, Hex. We have one... <sighs> so 
Neil will put the OTZ ships back on the screen. Yes, sir. You're linking together? Yes, sir. Before assembly. That's what Shell said, before capability for destruction. So what do you want to do? Oh, I was hoping you'd have an idea. Let's get out of here. What? There's six in front of us, something behind us, and we got one shot. What else can we do? Our mission is to get to Demeter, not to fight a battle. Huxley, put in new course coordinates away from the OTZ ships. Jonathan! Jake's right. There's nothing else we can do. You're just gonna run from the OTZ. He's doing the right thing. No, he's not! Come up with something, Beanie, right now, and I'll do it. Come on. I don't know, but something. Don't just run! The coordinates, Hux. Plotted him, sir. Back here, Penny. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. You did what you could. Excuse me, Captain. I have work to do. Increase speed and alter course per my orders. Captain, the blip. It's altered course away from the OTZ assembly and following us. Speed? Twice ours and increasing. Pursuit craft closing. Arming weapons. Jake, how many shots can the railgun give us? A total of three, but from this distance, none. Weapon section ready, Admiral. You will delegate weapons to my control. Understood. Yes, sir. You must be very, very careful. Look at the trajectories. What are they trying to do? Looks like course reading. We're headed right back to the OTZ assembly. That's exactly what they want us to do. Please note visual on screen. Buzz. Lips right behind us. They got us trapped. Sons. Yes, sir. Huxley, how long before our energy went off? Five minutes and nine seconds to perigee. What choice do we have? It's better than nothing. We're gonna try the solar laser. You think it's gonna work? No. Start countdown at five minutes. Five. You ready, Mr. Beanstack? Yes, sir. Listen, if we get out of this, I'll stand you to dinner. We get out of this. My treat. Captain Brown, would you mind riding co pilot? Huxley? Yeah? Nothing. Just good luck. Thanks. You too. 
Course trajectory 45 and hold. Course 45 locked in. Priscilla, give me the ships. Yes, sir. Star Voyager in there? What are you doing? It's a continual interface. Hypothetical projection. Earth Star Voyager imposed on OTZ assembly. is unique. Jigsaw puzzle and we're the missing piece. Assembly. They've been waiting for us all along. They wanted the Voyager and I brought her here. You're not getting there that easily. All station alert. We need to lick the end partner. Huxley, remaining time to convergence. Three minutes, 28 seconds. Captain, distance 5,000 miles. Three minutes to perigee. Beanie. Establishing solar disk angle. Incoming message. From whom? Image on screen. Admiral Beasley. Hello, Jonathan. You've done well. Uh, thank you. Admiral, we have an emergency. If you have visual, you'll see there's an assembly of OTZ spacecraft. We're planning to maneuver ourselves. In... Yes, I know. I see our scanners. Is there one unit short of completion? Can you close and fire? Of course. But I was concerned for you, Jonathan. As a rule, shells are well nigh indestructible. How did you know we had a shell on board? Jonathan, the blip. Triton Corsair. It's been the Triton Corsair all along. Admiral, you've been following us? And despite my best efforts, you lost me. You're very good. I chose you to be the best. But you're even better than I'd hoped. But then you've known all along about Captain Forbes and Lonnie Maiori. And regretted it, Jonathan. Ladies and gentlemen, I do not glory in destruction. But Voyager's mission is too important to allow anyone to jeopardize it. When serving the greater good, sacrifices are unfortunate, but they are inevitable and they must always, always be made. I tried to explain this to Captain Forbes. He never understood. But you do. Admiral, I do not understand. Remember the purpose of the mission, Jonathan. To ensure the survival of the species. To ensure the survival of those fools back on Earth? No. We go on to Demeter. We establish the human race there in, a, in the highest form possible. A form that will continue for millions of years. It is our obligation. And how does the OTZ fit into that? A large workforce is necessary to prepare for the culmination of the project. We use the tools that come to hand. You've learned that as captain, haven't you? Now you want Earth Star Voyager to join those ships. Voyager has the computer, 
The fusion thrust engines, the Bauman drive, yes, I need those to get to Demeter. But most importantly, I need you. All of you. Priscilla, end the Admiral's transmission. Priscilla, end transmission. I can't. There's some kind of control in here. I thought it was just extra storage space. No, Priscilla. Not extra storage space. Professor Bauman's computer is vital to the plan. She will become the command center of our ship. Our ship? A ship you've proven yourself worthy of, Jonathan. Now everything is complete. No. You refuse. Perhaps I should address the rest of your crew. Do you think they will all refuse? Why, Admiral Beasley, you sound like you're planning a mutiny. <laughs> Jake Brown. Forever turning up or you're not wanted. It's a talent I have. Permission to address your entire crew. Jonathan, get his attention. Permission granted. Crew of Earth Star Voyager, this is Admiral Beasley. I offer you an opportunity unparalleled in human history. With imagination and courage, you can rewrite the story of your entire race. You can correct the mistakes of the past. Thousands of years. Priscilla, where's that control? 50 seconds. Make up it by making it's there on your left. Will you or will you not follow on the paths mapped out by your ancestors? Already in. What? If you take them all out, that's me. Would we lose everything? No, just me. No, you can make up. I'm sorry, Priscilla. The world that in the future will look back on what you created. Speak your names with reverence. Huxley, can you get manual? Got it. Jonathan, what have you done? Resuming navigation. Triton Corsair approaching. Are we close enough to use a railgun? Not yet. She's got to come to at least a thousand miles. Arm weapons, stand by. Sir. Corsair just activated her weapons. And still closing on us, sir. Don't worry. Jonathan will do something. Get him closer. Sweet. 
switch Priscilla to receive. Earth Star Voyager to Triton Corsair. Admiral, can you hear me? Admiral Beasley, please respond. Admiral, please respond. Be kind enough to fine-tune communications, John. It seems you skewed your communications when you reprogrammed your computer. The damage can be repaired, Admiral. I'm glad to hear it. Very clever idea, building a solar laser. Once again, you live up to my expectations. My clever idea destroyed your assembly. As you said, the damage can be repaired. It's not too late, Jonathan. Give me the voice. I've been thinking about what you said, Adam. Have you? And I agree with you that we have a responsibility to humanity. And that each of us is insignificant compared to that responsibility. Pity you didn't come to this realization before destroying the OTZ assembly. Yes, sir, but... Uh, 1,250 miles. We can rebuild. We still have the computer. 1,173, a little closer, Jonathan. And if you recall, Admiral, Mr. Beanstalk helped to uh, create the computer. I'm sure that he can use it to help repair the damage. Mr. Beanstalk appears less than willing. Uh, he's still very young, Admiral. Now. Once again, Captain Brown runs away. I never did understand why you took him on board, Jonathan. I thought he might prove useful. Voyager, your plan is useless, Admiral. All your work for nothing. Exactly what have you got up your sleeve? Sir? You're stalling for time. What are you planning? How could I be planning anything? You saw to it yourself. We have no weapons. Very well, then. Prove yourself. Prepare to be boarded from Triton Corsair. Prepare for boarding. What? Prepare for boarding! I warn you, Jonathan. If you're trying to trick me, my armaments will destroy you. I'd destroy the ship you conceived, sir? The key to humanity's future? You're very bright, John. I hope so, sir. When we dock together, You'll have justified my faith in you. We're right on top of them. They've got our navigation. No! Sorry about that, Admiral. Armor section destroyed, sir.
damage report. Weapons and navigation centers destroyed. Auxiliary power sufficient for minimum life support only. How long to repair? Undetermined until further inspection, sir. Jonathan, can you hear me? You are very good. I expect to renew our relationship. Someday. And who was it said the railgun would work? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Come on up, Jake. I think maybe Huxley might want to apologize. Well, obviously some people are too well-mannered to gloat. <laughs> Did you hear that, Jake? Jake. Jake! Take over, Hux. Jake. Can you hear me? Wake up! I'm afraid he's gonna slip into a coma. Come on, Jake. Come on. Quit hitting me. Do you know your name? Tell me your name, please. Name's Jake Brown, ma'am. You want me a dinner? Stabilized. She's almost normal. I don't understand it. Excuse me. Mr. Beanstalk. Yes, sir. So, do you think you're going to be able to get Priscilla back to her old charming self? Oh, yeah, sure. She mostly is already. All I have to do is hook up her vocal restart. You can skip that part, Bean. Watch your mouth, cute stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Doomed. <laughs> well, maybe the real one will be waiting for you when you get back to her. Yeah, that'd be just what I need. Mm -hmm. Did you ever meet Priscilla Bauman? No. Would you like to, Huxley? That's Priscilla? And she loves me? And she wants me? And that's only my picture, Huxley. Ugh. You stood that up? Talks too much. So how you feeling? I sure hope this planet we're headed for is worth all this. So do I. It is. Beanie. I know that expression. What have you done? Oh, I wanted to show you when I was finished. But we kind of got busy. Beanie? What? Well, you know those degraded images on the meter we saw in the briefing? Uh-huh. Well, I've been working on it in my spare time, and I figured out a way to fill in the missing data. This is the meter. Most of this, but I helped. <laughs> Watch this, Beanie. So how could you do this to me? I mean, after I put you back together. I'm sorry, Beanie, but it has been on your mind, hasn't it? Would you like to see the meter?
know, Captain? I think we ought to go check that place out.